All right, I thought I'd do an impromptu video of how I'm using Studio One show page with a SL16 Series 3 console. Uh, I guess we'll start with the show page. We are using the show page um, for multi-track backing tracks with keys, overlay effects, a synthetic guitar that's tracked, uh, drums and bass that are actually only used for rehearsal, and a click track that has been rendered and exported in every song. So these are individually exported tracks out of the song page into the show page so that we have individual control of everything in the show page um, and a little bit more flexibility on, on, on fine-tuning the mix of your backing tracks or exporting them as individual stereo mixes to a uh, local front of house so they have more control. Uh, the other thing we've got going on that might be a little more advanced or interesting to some is the console uh, is, has several channels and aux buses, we'll start with channels, that are coming into the console analog. Uh, they are being routed immediately to Studio One, um, running insert effects on each channel. See, I have open channels at the top of the show page that don't have any content. They're live input channels. Those are routed to the inserts of two vocal channels. Bass and guitar are all routed through inserts at the console. And that is accomplished by taking the analog input do it to this vocal, uh, which is uh, coming in on the console here on analog 10, I'm sorry, analog 10, going into channel 2 onto the console is a vocal mic. Um, you can see it's active and hot. Uh, we switch this over to USB and then go change our digital send source from digital to analog. Now, this channel 2 is coming into the console, analog. It is being routed to the show page with those insert effects. Right now, just Waves Tune is on there live. Coming back to the console, and because the digital send is set to pre instead of post, it is sending it pre-fat channel and returning it pre-fat channel to my understanding of the schematic. So, we've done that on two vocals, guitar and bass. Guitar and bass are both running through Ampire. So we have vocal, vocal, bass, guitar. And then moving past that, these Six auxes are routed to Studio One here, and these are all effects that I use live. Here we go. Um, delay, some choruses, some vocal harmonizers, vocal bender. Um, and then there's even one still open that isn't ha doesn't have anything in it. But those are all routed the same way from these aux outs to Studio One. Now, the only catch on that is I've chosen to bring them all back through one effect input, one aux input. Because I do have individual sends for all of them. I'm okay with bringing all of them back through one channel with one fat channel on it. But that would might be, be one of the few restrictions and I could break that up into multiple channels if I chose to. I just haven't found a need to do that just yet. Um, the other part of that is these multi-tracks that I have pre-recorded come back in 
um, as a stereo pair of um, backing tracks, a stereo pair of pre-recorded background vocals, a third guitar, which is occasionally acoustic, sometimes electric, not always used, um, fill in behind solo parts and so forth. Uh, an e-drum for the drummer comes in here on MIDI. Uh, kick, snare, hat, ride, and four toms are all analog. Uh, 21 is a split of the lead vocal that I use uh, parallel compressed. Um, and then we bring an ambient mic in analog. And then over here is where we also bring in our stereo drum tracks and our bass track that we only use for rehearsal um, in case somebody can't be there or to give everybody practice tracks to work with. And we bring the click in here. That allows us to feed everybody whatever they want to hear in their in-ear monitor mix um, to their own preference, um, including pre-recorded drum and bass tracks or, or guitar if that's what they'd rather hear. But yeah, that's uh, what we got going on between the console and the Studio One show page. I do get... At a 256 block size, I'm getting about 12 milliseconds of latency. Uh, most of this is being done for front of house uh, wet effects. So that, that 12 milliseconds really hasn't been that relevant. But uh, yeah, um, I am so impressed that it works as I thought it would. And uh, moving on. Happy days.